The Maumee River west of Grand Rapids looks like a jagged ice tundra. Usually after it gets so much pressure behind it, it'll go over the dam and then it'll clear itself out, but this time it didn't. Frigid temperatures left the river frozen over last week, then a slight thaw shattered the surface into giant blocks of ice. No, I've never actually seen an ice jam before, so when I got out here, I was actually amazed at how big some of these pieces were. And to give you a reference, I'm looking at this piece right here. If you brush it off, you can tell that this is just a giant slab of ice, and this is probably about 8 inches thick. There's another one back here that's at least 13 or 14 inches thick. When ice that big starts moving downstream, it often gets stuck, or hits a dam and starts piling up. If it does go to the dam, it'll jam up below the dam, and then it'll flood Grand Rapids totally. Lynn Ripke and his wife own Trucker's Paradise, a diner built on the edge of the Maumee almost 48 years ago. Lynn says he hasn't seen a jam this severe since 1982, and back then it caused major problems. Piled up behind our house here, went up about 30 foot in the air, and went right up over and right on the road out here. This ice jam has already flooded many yards and parks, and Lynn says the river today looks just like it did in 82, and more sub-zero temps are on the way. Eventually that ice is going to go jam through the bottom of the river and it's going to shut all the flow off. Lynn has one idea to avert potential disaster. Dynamite the ice jam, about all I can do, I get that ice moving somehow. I spoke with county officials, they said the Army Corps of Engineers is looking into the jams, and in fact dynamite is one possible option. Crystal Camp, WNWO News.